and welcome. Today we're going to show you this great simple wrap. You could do it out of so many different fabrics. We're going to do it all on a sewing machine. You could do it by hand. You could do it on a serger, but the techniques we're going to show are all going to be on a sewing machine. It's fun! So we're going to start with just a rectangle of fabric. And I'm going to go through and explain this. So this would be your pattern. How you lay it on the fabric, we've got lots of options. This wrap, some of the stores I saw it, it was 200. It went up as high as 500. It all depended on the type of fabric you used. The 500s were the more cashmere. The 200s were the more cotton and, you know, less expensive fabrics. On the original, this was the fold. Then there's a neck opening. And that's going to be about 13 inches wide. Now it's going to be double because this is on the fold. So it's actually going to be 26, plenty to get over your head. And there was a seam along here. This was open. This was open and this is open and then finished. So when it sits on you, this is going to be on your right shoulder, your neck, of course. And this is what forms that little cowl when it's on you. And then you can seam this. Now, as I played around with it though, when you put this on the fold, now just to give you an instance, this is one yard length. And this is gonna be 20 inches. It could be, mine was 27. I'm taller, so I went ahead and, and ran it longer and a little bit wider. But it's only a yard of fabric. If you put this on the fold, you're gonna have to have two yards of fabric. And it's narrow, so you could, if you're making two, go ahead and get the two yards and make them half the width. But because I was only making one, I put the seam here. I put the fold here. So if you do this, what that means is I took fabric that was 54 inches wide, I took one yard of it, folded it in half this way, so here's my fold, and all I did was cut a neck opening in here and hemmed it, you're going to see that I, I'm going to do that. And then I put, because mine was a sheer, I put a French seam on here. And a French seam is just when you um, stitch it with wrong sides together and then you turn it, cut or cut it, turn it, and then stitch it with right sides together. So I put my seam here. Still I had this open, I hemmed it, and still I have this open, and I hemmed that. Same thing, but just the fabric and the layout is a little bit different. So hopefully just seeing that drawn out, you'll understand where your options are. As far as how wide you make it, you have, long, it can be longer than a yard. I'll show you when we're finished, the variables. And then of course, if you're shorter, you'd want to go more on the 20 inch side. If you're taller, closer to the 27th, that's the variance. All right, so there we go. That's as hard as it gets.
so we've got the pattern down very simple you can see there's variables again when I put this on myself this is the 27 because the fabric was 54 wide I folded it in half along here and used the fold right up here so mine was automatically 27 it's a border print and I wanted to take advantage of that border print because the neckline is off to the edge it automatically will have this asymmetric look which is so wonderful and of course this is your yard long your your width here this is your yard so again you might want to make it just a little closer to the body and not have it be a yard I don't think you'd want to go much over a yard because it will just become you know you, you want it to look like a wrap and not look like it's wrapping you if that's fair so be careful of that again the originals in the store all had the fold over here but when you do that you actually have to use twice the yardage this is where I put the French seam so I cut the neck edge hemmed that this is a French seam so that it wouldn't show on either side and because mine was a sheer if you don't have a sheer you could just serge it or I'm going to show you a knit fabric on a knit fabric you wouldn't have to do any of it but the beauty of the fabrics are really brought out in this wrap because like you can see here with my border print the border print goes asymmetric now it's just it's so flattering it's just a great wrap so let's look at some fabrics again with this one this was a border print and I wanted to take advantage of a border print they were beautiful when they were all done in solids so I think the border just the fabric will just really make it richer and deeper because this is a designer fabric and it has Nanette Lepore's name on it I'm going to take advantage of that and just let it show at the bottom <laughs> never um, wanting to not take credit for who the fabric is but also if we look at a knit we can see that anytime we have lines like this this would be great with just a pair of jeans, very casual. I can see myself adding fringe to it because this line is so unusual. So take a fabric that to you is just really different and really unusual and really find that it plays well into the wrap. And I can see that we could use geometric lines, we could use soft lines, it can be florals, it can really be either one. When you have the wrap on, it forms a real soft cowl around the neck and that's simply because um, again of how the neckline is and how it lays on your shoulder it'll have a real soft cowl here in the front so anything that's drapey but even if it's not drapey it will still work I want to look at one other fabric that I've got here on the table just to show you a really nice combination look at all the stripes in this and again because of all the beauty and all the coloration I can really see that this would just be gorgeous in an asymmetric it's just got so much interest the borders are, are defined and you could really take advantage of that. So originally in the pattern when I showed you those two different ways to lay it out, part of what will make those answers for you is the fabric and do you want to put the fold or do you want to take advantage of the full width of the fabric. The fabric and the design of the fabric will really influence whether you put this portion on the fold or whether you put this portion on the fold. Go back to that drawing and review it and I, I know you'll get it. We love doing these fun things. Happy sewing. Um, the goal here, even if you did it in knit, you wouldn't have to sew anything other than to just create the neckline. You could leave it all raw edges, and I can really see that for a very funky, comfortable, down-home look. So again, happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.